so I'm going to be making some uh, Christmas baubles today and they're going to be in a fuchsia colour. Now, when you're making glass, especially coloured glass, it's never just one colour, otherwise it ten tends to look quite flat. So what we're going to be doing is building up the colour in layers. So the initial colour is going to be this, which is uh, like a dense, opaque white. And then we're going to overlay it with this, which is a very dense, concentrated, transparent fuchsia. And hopefully what that will allow us to achieve is a beautiful fade from you know, very deep fuchsia at the top all the way through to a kind of a much more pale fuchsia at the bottom. This gives it a, a little bit more interest. So the first step is to knock off small pieces of the solid colour, just enough for each individual bauble. The pieces of colour then need to be warmed up very gradually, and to do this we put them in a small kiln, which we call a colour warmer, which is set at just over 500 degrees. Each of the blowing irons I select need to be gently warmed for 5 or 10 minutes prior to using. Uh, this just allows the molten glass to adhere to the surface of the iron a little bit better. Christmas baubles in particular require a selection of hand tools to be used during their making process. Each of the hand tools need to be laid out in the correct order and this allows you to complete each stage of the process as easily as possible. So the next stage is to begin prepping the colour. So I'm gathering a small piece of molten glass on the end of what we call a bit iron and that glass acts almost like glue which is then going to allow me to pick up a piece of the transparent fuchsia directly onto the iron. Once the transparent fuchsia is warm, I gently roll it into a very rough cylindrical shape. Then it's put back into the pipe warmer, which just keeps it gently warm and allows me to begin preparing the white. The next stage is to pick up a small piece of the opaque white directly onto the blowing iron. This piece of white is then heated through and shaped in much the same way as the transparent fuchsia. Next comes the tricky bit. Both pieces of colour need to be warmed through simultaneously to prevent each of them from becoming too cold and cracking.
Once the piece of transparent fuchsia is suitably warmed through and softened, it's time to drop it directly onto the piece of opaque white. The next part of the process is to spread the transparent fuchsia as evenly as possible over the transparent white. This should allow you to achieve um, a beautiful colour fade from pale fuchsia at the bottom all the way through to a much darker, richer fuchsia at the top. Now that the colour is prepared, the next stage is to seal that colour in using a gather of clear molten glass. Once the clear glass is gathered, it's then shaped using a wooden block and also a damp pad of newspaper, which is a very versatile hand tool to use. Once the glass has been shaped, air is introduced into the tube by a method called thumbing. This allows the bubble to begin to expand nice and evenly. Next, a score line is introduced into the neck of the bubble using metal prong-like tools called jacks. The bubble is then carefully blown to size and the finishing touches to the shape are applied using both the metal jacks and, if necessary, the damp pad of newspaper. The very last stage of the process is to add a little glass hook to the top of the bauble. This is done by dropping a small amount of molten glass to the open end. This molten glass is then carefully cut using a pair of hand shears and the molten glass is then bent over using a pair of tweezers to form the hook. Last of all, the bauble is put away into an annealing oven, which is set at 500 degrees and allowed to cool down slowly over 36 hours. This annealing cycle prevents the glass from cracking by cooling down too quickly. <laughs> 